Alright YouTube and Fallout community. So they finally have an open beta for mods for PC players with the Creation Kit and shit. And they, have an art they released an article as always, and I'll read over the article in a minute. But they also have a video on the article that's just kind of like everybody, like Todd Howard and others, talking about the Creation Kit and kind of showing stuff. They actually have a throwback to some horse armor, which is hilarious. They took like the, the whatever the toy horse is in Fallout 4, and it's kind of modded onto uh, some power armor. It looks kind of funny, and, just, and they, they named it horse armor. thought that was pretty cool. thought I'd throw that out there. I'll link the video below and the article below if I can. Anyways, let's get right into it. Mods and the, and the players who create them have always been an important part of our games. Going all the way back to Morrowind and Elder Scrolls construction set, we believe that our games become something much more special when we put the power of creation in your hands. New quests, environments, characters, dialogue, outfits, weapons, and more. With mods, the possibilities of what you can do are endless. You're creating new experiences that enhance and take our games in amazing and surprising new directions. For Fallout 4, our goal was to make mods easier and more accessible than ever before, for both the creators and the players. By building an all-new system within Bethesda.net, we've made a huge leap forward in achieving that. You can now browse and search for the latest and greatest mods, choose your favorites, post feedback, and install them all within the game. Simply select mods from the main menu and start browsing. If you want to try making mods, and we think everyone should, the creation kit, the same tool that we used to create Fallout 4, is a free download via the Bethesda.net launcher. You can check out the creation kit wiki, our online documentation, and help file for more details and tips on how to make them. We plan to update and evolve mods and the creation kit based on your experiences, so be sure to leave feedback in our forums. And they tell you how to, how to install the update and stuff uh, on Steam. For console players, mods will be coming to Xbox One in May and PlayStation 4 in June. We have a lot to do yet, but we do we hope it changes console gaming the way it has changed PC. Finally, we'd like to thank all the modders who volunteered to beta test the creation kit and mods during the closed beta. Your feedback has been invaluable and we couldn't have done it without you. For them and for all our players, we can't wait to see what you create. So the big thing here, besides the fact that they have an open beta now for the creation kit and all that shit, is that we got a release date window for consoles. We know that we're getting the creation kit in uh, May, which is the same time we're getting, which we're getting Far Harbor and May. Uh, in May, and we're getting the creation kit in May for Xbox One. And then PlayStation 4 will get in June. So it's kind of cool. I, I, I like having a little bit of exclusivity because I'm an Xbox player when it comes to Bethesda. But at the same time, I wouldn't care. I, I would prefer that everybody got it all at all the same time. But that's whatever. Kind of cool. We got a little bit of a release date window for those things. If you're a PC player, definitely go and be a part of this open beta. Check out some cool mods. Make your own if you, you know, let me know. I'd like to know. I'd like to see some, if y'all, if y'all have a YouTube channel and y'all upload things, upload some some beta creations if you're if you're a PC player. I'd definitely like to see what what like it's all capable of and what I can look forward to in the future. Later guys.